Hello and welcome to the Eastern Idaho Planning Briefing for Thursday, March 5th. First off here on our summary slide, you see the next storm arrives Saturday morning after some fairly clear and benign weather for today and Friday. There is a second storm though right on its heels Sunday, Sunday night and then about a 12 hour break and a third storm with this one has the most snowfall for Monday and Monday night. And after that storm, it's a sort of an uncertain midweek for next week. Start for the satellite image. Uh, you can see here the storm track is well into Canada and high pressure is building over our area and we'll be blocking this storm to the north. And so it'll be a while until maybe some tail end of this will actually flow through and that again won't be until Saturday. So until then, uh, we have some very benign weather for Thursday and Friday. Saturday, um, this is starting off as a warm snow. It'll have lots of south wind ahead of it, bringing in warm, moist air. And so we expect for the Snake River Plain, it'll definitely be rain for the 24 hours of Saturday. And uh, it's only when you start getting into some elevation that you might get a rain and snow. And right now, it looks like for the southern areas, the rain snow line will be around 6,000 feet. It will peak in the afternoon to around 7,000 feet. And then Saturday night, as a cold front sweeps through from this storm, uh, that will bring uh, snow down to most surface elevations eventually. Uh, it may not be exactly, it might be late Saturday night and or sometimes Sunday morning. Um, but uh, as you can see, uh, the Snake Plain in Magic Valley will still have a slight chance of rain or a chance of rain. Uh, mostly in the morning hours before it cools down. And then elsewhere, um, snow and some light snow uh, expected on Saturday. And then Sunday, most of the focus will be on the eastern side of our forecast area. So Snake River Plain, Magic Valley, and then the South Hills, the Southeast Highlands, and the Eastern Highlands. Whereas the central Idaho mountains will mostly be getting just some upper elevation snow, um, you know, pretty high above 7,500 feet, so it's almost just at pass elevations in some of those areas. And then Monday, um, another storm. This one just sort of popped up here in the last 24 hours, is being more significant. This one. The uh, trough that brings the winds uh, comes in from the west, but it uh, sort of picks up some moisture coming out of the central Pacific and uh, out towards Hawaii, which we call an atmospheric river. And so this one may tend to have a little bit more uh, precipitation. Um, a lot of places it will start out or it will at least change over to rain, um, but we are expecting light snow for a lot of locations as well. Uh, mostly the Central Idaho Mountains where it won't amount to more than a couple inches over that 24-hour period. So let's go to see again the next two days here, uh, mostly sunny skies and very warm temperatures for this time of year. Uh, you can see solid 50s uh, from you know, basically north of Pocatello all the way over to the Twin Falls area. And overnight lows, uh, not getting too cool where um, we have no snow on the ground. But where we do have snow on the ground, you can see temperatures are still going to be a solid 10 to 15 degrees colder, especially in the Snake River Plain compared to elsewhere. And then here on Friday, uh, a continued warming trend up another 3 to 5 degrees and overnight lows a little more mild. And then the storm starts coming in. Here's Saturday morning wind. You can see it really starts to pick up in the southern and eastern highlands, uh, at least at first, and even parts of the uh, eastern Magic Valley. And then Saturday afternoon is sort of where it's going to peak. See, pretty windy. That's 24 miles an hour in Pocatello, 25 in American Falls. And again, it's mostly out of the south. But most of this, you know, again, will be rain at these elevations. You really have to get by Saturday afternoon up to 6,500 feet before you'll see start to see uh, snow. 
and the high temperatures on Saturn, you can see, um, again, this might actually be sort of in the morning, uh, more so than elsewhere. You can see it's a little bit cooler, especially in the um, Eastern Magic Valley, where it, um, the cloud cover will definitely be blocking out the sun very early. And then lows on Sunday morning. See with the cloud cover, um, sort of a wash for the northern end and a little bit cooler for the southern end of our forecast area. All right, so here's how the snow is going to evolve. Uh, you can see tomorrow night there's just a dusting of snow potentially at pretty high elevations, but it does include uh, Galena Summit. And then um, on Saturday night, uh, you can see um, it does start to intensify, but again, the focus basically after Saturday afternoon will be on the east side of our forecast area. You can see much more snow expected at Island Park all the way down to, uh, you know, the Bear River Range and the uh, highways that flow between the Bear Lake Basin and uh, uh, Cache Valley. And then here on Sunday, uh, most widespread less than an inch. So really what's happening on Sunday is while we are colder, uh, there isn't as much moisture available anymore. Most of the really good moisture uh, or really heavy moisture has moved into Wyoming and the front range of the Rockies. And so there's a lot less to work with. And so you can see big zeros for a lot of our area on Sunday. Here's a snowfall amount for the total 24 hours on Saturday. Again, some pretty good snow in the central Idaho mountains. Most of this early, and then it moves, shifts over to here later on and on Saturday night to the east side. Uh, but you see, all of this is definitely below six inches, and it's widespread, uh, mostly one to three. And there's a snowfall amount for all day Sunday, the 24 hours. So again. Uh, you have a break here till Saturday morning, and it should start when we say Saturday morning, probably right in around 5 a.m. to 6 a.m., somewhere in there. Uh, continue. Uh, there's a break late Saturday night, possibly, and then the next storm rolls in Sunday, Sunday night. Uh, again, a colder storm, but lighter snowfall amounts. It doesn't have as much moisture to work with. And this third storm, with the most snowfall, because it is generally cooler, it will be Monday, Monday night. And afterwards, um, it's really uncertain what's going to happen, but there is, a, you know, at least a slight chance to chance there will be some snow. Um, I don't see it as being, you know, all sunny and, and benign weather. Um, it will probably remain, continue to be unsettled. That's all I have. If you have any further questions, you can always call us at this telephone number. Check out the weather yourself at weather.gov slash Thanks for watching.